Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, we'll talk about the virtue of temperance. The word temperance is almost never used in the scriptures, but the basic meaning is conveyed by quite a number of verses, and in quite a number of ways, such as the prohibitions against gluttony and drunkenness. Temperance is the ability to hold off on certain good pleasures when it's beneficial to yourself or others. In other words, the strength of will to use your resources in the best way you can, instead of wasting them. It's a form of self-discipline like the kind described by St. Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians. But I pommel my body, and subdue it, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9.27 St. Paul was talking about voluntarily giving up things that we like just for the purpose of training ourselves in self-discipline so that we'll be able to control ourselves when the time comes. In fact, temperance and self-control are really very similar. This particular virtue has been the source of some controversy since some people see it as just a command towards moderation to not eat or drink for no real reason. But again, that's not what this is about. Temperance isn't about not eating or drinking. It's not even about how much you eat or drink. Temperance is about how much control you have over these things. If you throw yourself into anything with total abandon, whether it's food or drink or lust or whatever, it's just going to make it harder for you to control yourself when you need to. And as we said in episode 38, everyone wants to be in control of their own actions, because that's one of the things that we were designed for. To sum it up, setting concrete limits for yourself is about not overeating, overdrinking, or overindulging in pleasure. The virtue of temperance is about structuring your food, drink, and pleasures so that at any point, if you were called to give them up for the sake of someone else, you could. These two things aren't quite the same, though. Let's see how the Catechism of the Catholic Church puts it. Pay special attention to the precise wording here. Temperance is the moral virtue that moderates the attraction of pleasures and provides balance in the use of created goods. It ensures the will's mastery over instincts and keeps desires within the limits of what is honorable. The temperate person directs the sensitive appetites towards what is good and maintains a healthy discretion. This is the first half of paragraph 1809 of the Catechism. If you want, you can read the rest of it on the internet. Notice how it specifically avoids saying that pleasures themselves are bad, or that there's any specific limit to them beyond what is honorable. I'll be coming back to this later. Sometimes Catholics are accused of believing that no food or drink should ever be taken unless it's absolutely necessary for survival, but that's ridiculous. This kind of confusion only comes about as a result of misunderstanding temperance. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.